Right, now there's currently an outbreak of monkeypox, as we've heard, and the burning question on everyone's lips, is monkeypox a sexually transmitted disease? Now, first of all, let's look at the origins of monkeypox. Note that monkeypox is a zoonotic disease, and this means that it can be transmitted from an infected animal to a human. Now, monkeypox originated from animals, as it was found in a group of colonies of monkeys Back in 1958, they were being kept for research purposes. So since then, monkeypox have been found mainly in animals. Now, the first human case was back in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and this was a case of a nine-year-old boy who was suspected to have smallpox at the time. So monkeypox is endemic in parts of Central Africa and West Africa. So if you're traveling from any of these parts, you're likely to have brought it to countries in Europe and the US. Monkeypox is part of a family of viruses called the orthopoxivirus, which includes a smallpox and a cowpox virus, which is why, I mean, they're thought to be cousins. And this is why the smallpox vaccine is also thought to be effective against monkeypox. I think it's got about 85% effectiveness. Now, most cases of monkeypox in animals have been in rodents and primates, such as rabbits, mice, rats, squirrels, and monkeys, as we've mentioned. So monkeypox is usually transmitted via two ways. You've got the animal-to-human transmission and you've got the human-to-human -human transmission. So if you look at the animal-to-human transmission, we're looking at direct contact, which can include a scratch or bite from an infected animal, touching or petting the infected animal, as well as contact with bodily fluids, whether it's the urine, feces, saliva, or blood. With indirect contact, that means touching the animal's environment. So it could be the pet cages, it could be the water dishes, the food, even the soil that the animal walks on, as well as eating contaminated or poorly cooked meat. Now, human to human transmission is quite rare. So usually you expect the virus to go through broken skin and that includes the mucous membranes of the eyes, the nose, the mouth. It was thought that majority of monkeypox was contracted by humans through inhalation of the respiratory droplets, whether it's by sneezing, coughing, or even talking while a small proportion was through direct contact with bodily fluids, and that includes prolonged face-to-face -face contact, as well as indirect contact with contaminated clothes and contaminated bedding. I mean, what scientists have noted is that there is a community transmission of monkeypox, i.e. there is an increased number of cases among gay, bisexual men, and men who have sex with men, also known as the MSM. This has led to the question of whether monkeypox is a sexually transmitted disease similar to HIV. I mean, at this present time, you can say that monkeypox is not specifically a sexually transmitted disease, but you can also say that yes, monkeypox can be sexually transmitted, as the evidence and the numbers speak for itself. I mean, to date, we have 20 cases so far in the UK, and those cases are guaranteed to climb in the next two to three weeks, because remember, the incubation period for monkeypox is between five to 21 days. But what has not been highlighted is that the majority of these cases are actually in this community of gay, bisexual men and men who have sex with men. I don't know what you want to call that, but men who have sex with men, isn't that gay? <clears throat> also, initially it was thought that maybe the monkeypox was kind of confined to this group of people in one setting, but it has been found that monkeypox has been found in different parts of the country, which means that it's not confined to one sexual network or community, but different communities. So the question is, how is this happening? How is this being sexually transmitted? Initially, we were getting the numbers in terms of, okay, six out of the nine when the first cases came about were from the gay and bisexual community, but now they've stopped giving figures and they now use the word predominantly amongst the gay, bisexual and men who have sex with men community. I'm not sure why they've stopped giving the figures, but there could be several reasons for that. Now, this has far-reaching implications because we know that from what I've told you about the transmission, sexual intercourse or sexually transmitted route was never previously mentioned as a way of catching monkeypox. You know, it was more bodily fluids like, you know, saliva, urine, feces, but no one has really ever mentioned sex as a way of catching monkeypox. And this is interesting because we know that in some parts of the world, especially in parts of Africa, some humans actually practice bestiality with animals. Now, if you don't know what bestiality means, you better go and look that up but that is a disgusting act. So is it possible that some humans in Africa could have caught monkeypox through practicing bestiality with animals, apart from just the usual contact or indirect contact that they would have with infected animals that were non-sexual? The question that is puzzling scientists at present is why is it specifically the gay community that tends to have the most predominant cases? 
but they're also cautious that monkeypox is not labelled as a gay disease, similar to HIV, as this can lead to a stigmatisation and can prevent people from coming forward due to fear of being labelled. However, the irony is that while the government is trying to avoid stigmatisation, they are also now offering smallpox vaccines to the gay community. There are also concerns that sexual health clinics will become overrun with people panicking and wanting to be checked out or tested that they might have the monkeypox virus. So they've advised, look, we're happy to listen to you if you're worried about having the monkeypox and we're happy to do tracing. But if you have the monkeypox virus, they've been advised to isolate for at least 21 days. They've also been told what symptoms to look out for in terms of their fever, headaches, muscle aches, swollen lymph glands, as well as in particular the rash, which can be quite similar to the rash of chickenpox. And they've said also look out for the rash in your genital area. Initially, monkeypox is thought to be common in the face and the hands and can also spread to other parts of the body. But you've also been told, look out for monkeypox virus or the rash in your genital areas. And that could be a sign that it's sexually transmitted. So can monkeypox be sexually transmitted? Yes. Is monkeypox a sexually transmitted disease? No. Because before all this, monkeypox has already been identified way before it was shown that you can actually catch monkeypox through sexual intercourse. However, it is something to become aware about. And there should be methods put in place to prevent further spread of the monkeypox virus. It is a mild virus, nothing to panic about. The mortality rate is only 1% with the West African strain, and I think it's 10% with the Central African strain. But majority of illnesses are mild, and most people recover within two to four weeks. It is in the headlines everywhere. There still is no reason to panic. Majority of people recover. It is not going to be another pandemic like COVID, okay? I presume that in the next month, the monkeypox virus is going to die as quickly as it started. But if you like my video and you want to subscribe to more videos, please subscribe to my channel. I've also got a video which I've done on what you need to know about monkeypox, which you can check out.